now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. This is the Ramble, and I am Alex Bennett, and we'll be with you until midnight Eastern Daylight Time on the West Coast of the United East Coast of the United States. What do you mean the West Coast, ladies and gentlemen? You don't look like you've got the coronavirus, so I suppose you're safe so far, Stephen Kravitz. I am very safe. Thanks for asking. You look great too. Yeah, well, I'm I'm feeling uh, I I'm just tired all the time, and I think That's, that could be depression, Alex. That could be depression. That could be from being indoors all day, right. uh, not having gone out. Like when we're through here, I'm going to just uh, put some pants on. Well, I've actually got pants on. Well, that's uh, good. Uh, yeah, I dress up for you. Uh, yeah, I don't. Oh, you don't have pants on? No. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what happens with us, with Marjorie and I, is the other day I said to her, do you realize we haven't put pants on in the last three days? You know, we just, it's like we go from, from morning to night not putting pants on, you know, right. just running around in underpants. I mean, this, because you're not going out. So now I'm starting right. to go out. So I, I put on these pants so I'd be ready after this is over to go take a walk. There you go. I already went for a walk at six in the morning. Well, how about the temperature? Oh, it's 84 degrees. Well, that's not bad. It's 100 degrees here. Oh, geez. How do you live with that? How do you live with that? You stay in an air-conditioned home. I mean, I talk to people who live in Arizona, and it's like, you know, how, how, how hot is it today? Oh, it's only 107. Right. I'm going, only 107. I used to live, I didn't live in Las Vegas, but I used to stay in Las Vegas for like uh, five days at a time because I was working trade shows there. Right. And you just didn't go oh. out. I mean, it, sometimes no. it was gruesome out. There was like 115. Sure. In August, it'll get up there. Yeah. <clears throat> you know? And oh. you, you, when, I remember when playing Las Vegas, you'd walk out of the casino and your breath would be literally sucked out of your lungs when you hit the heat. Yeah. Yeah. That's why going from casino to casino, don't they have, you can stay indoors and go from casino to casino? Some Not of that I'm aware of. Oh. You think so? Do you, you have to walk outside to go to the next casino? I think so. Oh, boy. Oh. It, I, I just, you know, I just don't understand that kind of heat. I don't understand living in that kind of heat or even wanting to live in that kind of heat. Well, it was a move of economics. L.A. was just getting to me. I had a little studio, you know, apartment in L.A., for basically the same I pay for here, I get uh, a two bedroom, you know, 800 square. And I can actually say to somebody, I can't hear you, I'm in the other room. Right. You right. know? So that's why I moved here. Here in New York, if we ever got out of this apartment, if we were ever kicked out, which is, there's always that possibility uh, because we've been going through a legal thing, but we don't. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but uh, if we ever had to leave here, I don't think we'd find another place in New York that we could afford. I couldn't afford to live in New York. I couldn't afford to live in San Francisco. Yeah, although I think what with the uh, with the virus and everything, maybe the prices are going to come down on rentals. Hopefully. Because what's going to happen, there's going to be a thing that's going to happen, and it's it's probably almost there, where this whole thing about not being able to uh, evict people uh, right. is is going to go is not going to exist and right. people are going to be evicted and then they're not going to have any place to go and then there are going to be a lot of empty apartments and they evicted right. people out of apartments because they couldn't pay but you know then there's nobody to fill up those apartments because nobody can afford it because everybody's out of work right all right right right, right. so then they're going to have to bring the price of apartments down in order to encourage people to go to into there. the to live there, yeah, 
Uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a mess. It's an absolute mess. Well, I already got an apartment in Worcester. Really? Yeah. And how much is that running you a month? $1,000. Uh-huh. And how much is this costing you a month? Eight seventy. Oh, God. And it's a big two-bedroom in Worcester. The building was built in 1910, has a pantry, has a uh, you know a patio. It's a big place. Now, how, how did you get it? You didn't go out to see it. My brother did, and a friend knew the landlord, the guy who owns the building, and apparently I was in high school with him, which I don't remember him at all. Well. So, he, he remembers me. Yeah. So and, that's why, you know, everything else I was looking at was 12 and up. Yeah. You know, all, all the way up to 16, even though, you know, that. that so he, did, he give, did he give you a break in price? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. And there's that's a washer nice. and dryer right in the apartment. Oh, God, that's very good. And it's got a pantry. I haven't seen a pantry since my grandparents' old house. Yeah. Well, you should see the place we've got here. We've got... 2,500 square feet. Wow. Uh, you got the whole flat. We've got the whole, yeah, the whole apartment's huge, huge. It's, a, it's 10 rooms. 10 rooms? Well, it's got three bedrooms, one of which I use as an office here. Right. It's got a dining room, a living room, a foyer that probably is as big as your studio apartment. Uh, I have a uh, huge kitchen. Huge pantry, two bathrooms, yeah. Really? And a big hallway, yeah. Wow. And you're paying well on the market value. We haven't paid rent in six years. Is that right? Yeah, well, there's a whole legal thing going on. It's not between us and the landlord, believe it or not, but there's been a whole thing going on, and there's nobody to pay rent to. Huh. Okay. You locked out. What do you think that apartment will go for now? Well, I mean, if if they wanted to, if they got a, if they got us out of here, which they're not going to be able to do, if they got us out of here and somehow they were able to finagle certain things and try and deregulate it, okay, they could right. get seven thousand dollars a month for this apartment. Oh, easily, easily, probably more. Yeah. yeah, but we're we're we've negotiated already with the landlord that. We would probably give him twenty two hundred a month, you know, for it. Uh, but but, but, size of an apartment, but that's worth it. Yeah, but, and the landlord and I, us, have no real problem. They don't have a problem with us. They have a problem with the guy that rented us the apartment who didn't have the right to rent it. Oh, I see. And so that's what the whole legal action is about: him trying to get his apartment back, us saying you owe us money because, you know, we overpaid the rent on it, and you know it was rent stable it's a whole if i gave it would take me an, ha an hour to explain the whole situation it's a michigas it's a michigas but we're not in contention with the uh, with the uh, 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 landlord uh, the landlord said to us you don't owe us anything you know we, we want it out of him you know because he's the one who has the lease on the had the lease on the apartment and was the I lease, get the lease. yeah we were never leaseholders he he sublet us the apartment, or he, he did what he thought was a sublet, but it was represented to us as a lease. We have an actual document, you know, the rental, that has us, uh, him signing on as owner, and us, oh, really? and us as tenants, okay? Not as, yeah, well, okay. as sublessees. It wasn't a sublet right. agreement. And under a sublet, you can't charge us more than you were paying for rent, and he was charging us two thousand dollars or more than he was paying for rent. Is that right? Yeah. So, you know, it, it, it it's not our, you know, it's not a, a problem of our making. Right. So right, even right, sitting right. here, you know, we were we were in court adjudicating this. He would have been over by now, but then all of a sudden, COVID hit, and we can't go into a courthouse. Right. You know, there's, there's nobody. So we probably won't be till the first of the year that we get back to this case. If then. That is too cool. It, it, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You're, you're, a, you're a blessed man. Well, I don't know if we're blessed. You know, there's part of me that says I wish we were paying rent. Then we then we could yell about a lot more. 
You know? right, but right, they've, right. They've, heard, they've been very good to us. The super here is always attentive and ready to help us in any way he can. And uh, I've met the owners because they were in court. And they, actually, we're both being sued by this guy, you know, and we're then countersuing. Uh, right. So we get along very well with these with the landlord. He's he's our he's kind of been we kind of made a friendship with them, which our lawyers don't like because our lawyers hate landlords. Okay, is that right? He said, "Don't talk to the landlord." Yeah, I'm going. I got to live with the landlord. You know, right. it's, you don't you you're through with this thing. You leave. I'm left with the landlord, so I'm trying to get along with them now, so I get along with them later. You know, right, 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 right. And they've been very nice to us, to be honest with you. Yeah, you know, I can't, I can't complain. And I said to them, he said to us, he said, you, you don't owe us any money. You didn't have the lease on this apartment. You know, so, so we'll hope they stay with their word on that. You know. Yeah. It must be nice to live rent free. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's nice, but you know, there's something about paying rent that you then have. Stability. Stability. You have certain rights being a renter. Sure. You know. Here, like you said, you can't really bellyache if you're getting rent for free. Yeah. I, I. Yeah. Right. You know. I mean, if something goes wrong with the apartment, I call the super. He comes and fixes it. You know. Right, it's not. Go. It's not like they said. They said to the super, uh, "Don't do anything for them because they're not paying any rent." No, they've acted like we are renters of this apartment. You know. That is too cool. Yeah, uh, and and these are not these are not the greatest landlords. These are, in fact, if, if if you were to put them on a list of worst landlords in New York City, they would probably be on that list. Is that right? But uh, you could, but you couldn't prove it by me. Right. You know. Uh, they've been good to you. They've been very good. They've been very decent about it. Then again, oh, I'm I'm Jewish. Yeah. I'm Jewish, and so and they're and they're Hasidim, So uh, they probably figure, hey, he's a Jew. He's a lunch. Right. Right. You know. Sure. We'll let him slide. Yeah. Yeah. First time in my life, it's paid to be a Jew. You know. <laughs> well, I just celebrated 15 years clean and sober. Huh? Really? Just, yeah, 15 years. Really? Yeah. Good Since for you. Time. Good for you. Yeah. No kidding, huh? Yeah. And how do you feel? Do you still Desire drugs or? No. 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 I've been lucky. It's like people say to me, you quit smoking, huh? All of a sudden. Now, you probably remember when I quit smoking. Right. And and uh, I said, yeah. I said, you ever want a cigarette? I go, no. It's not in my DNA anymore. You know, it's not right. part of my ritual. Now, I stopped smoking a month ago. And I have two packs of cigarettes sitting on my kitchen table. Good for you. And I look at them and I just go, not today. Yeah. I'm not going there today. And one of my caregivers said it's it's kind of better that I have cigarettes in the house because if I have to go to the store, I've already made a commitment that I'm going to smoke again. I know this one guy, he quit halfway through a carton of cigarettes, and he had that half carton of cigarettes in his house for two years before he threw it away. Well, I, I kept cigarettes in my pocket when I quit. Did just, you really? Just to say, hey, I have ability to grab a cigarette if I want it, but I'm not going to. And, right. and, and what I did, you know what, Mike, and I tell this to everybody who's going to quit smoking. Don't ever say you're going to quit smoking. I just say I've stopped. No, here's what I said. I'm going to see how long I can go without a cigarette. There you go. And so far it's been like 35, 40 years. So, you know. I guess you're good. I guess I'm good. The, yeah. the other night I took a toke off a, uh, off a joint because I'll do that sometimes to put myself to sleep at night rather than take a sleeping sure. pill. And uh, I said to myself, gee, I inhale this thing like I inhale a cigarette. How come this doesn't make me want to have a cigarette? Right, right, And it right. doesn't. It just doesn't. I mean, it has the same sensation, fills your lungs, you know. Uh, right. But it, it's just not the same for some reason. You don't, you can smoke a joint and you won't smoke a cigarette. Well, I smoke a joint and I think, well, I'm not clean anyway. I just go do what I want. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, sober for 15 years. Good for you, my friend, because you were, you know. I was an addict. Yeah. I was showing my wife the other day, you in uh, that uh, Clint Eastwood film where you are trying to kill, kill. Her, kill Dirty Harry and he manages to kill you. Right. Yeah. 
That was that film got me my SAG card, got me in the union. Yeah. That was my first. Well, Howard the Duck was my first film. Yeah. But we don't talk about it. We don't talk about Howard the Duck. I consider the Eastwood film to be my first film. Yeah. Yeah. He played a good bad guy. Hey, listen, I just looked. We're, we're run out of time again. Are you serious? Wow, well, the time flies when we're having so much goddamn fucking fun. There you go. Hey, stay safe out there. How long before you move back to Wooster? Uh, September 1, I'll, I'll be back there. Okay. I'll talk to you uh, in a couple of weeks. Okay. Give me a date. Let me know. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey, you may actually send me, you sent me an email yesterday that yeah. said 11 o'clock, and then you called me at 10. Yeah, I know. I, I'm out of it these days. I'm just... You still loopy? Uh, yeah, I'm still loopy. Anyway, uh, stay where you are so I can talk to you after this. And uh, ladies okay. and gentlemen, look at him. That's uh, the clean and sober Stephen Kravitz. Thanks, Steve. Thanks for having me, Alex. Bye-bye. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our, uh, uh, that's our, uh, uh, you know, that's uh, Stephen Kravitz. Uh, wait a minute. I'm trying to clean this table off because I, uh, I have this, uh, this strip on the t desk here uh, that, uh, you know, it's, it come, goes across the bottom here, you know, kind of like it's molding, right? And occasionally, once in a while, the chair gets hooked on it, and then it pulls the molding out, and then I got to go find some glue to glue it back in. And uh, I, I didn't. So, and then I got glue all over the table, which I'm cleaning off now because I take alcohol and I uh, clean it off. And we're, okay, we're all right. Okay. Anyway, it's time for me to go take a look at the uh, at the uh, people who want to talk to me using uh, Zoom. Uh, all you have to do in order to find out where to find me on Zoom is to go to gabnet.net, and it's got a, uh, down at the bottom uh, right-hand uh, corner, about bottom right-hand, it says click here to uh, join our Zoom panel, and you just go there, and uh, uh, that's, it's that easy. Also, if you're watching us on YouTube, right under here it says, during the program, you can Zoom us at, and then it has the, you just click on that, and it will put you through. It's very very simple. Let me just uh, take a few things off and let me uh, transition over here. And here we got, uh, yeah, uh, we have uh, Howard and we have Charlie. And here's a guy we had yesterday on our show, uh, Robert Natale. Uh, and Robert, you're where again? In Skillman, New Jersey, Sk near Princeton. Skillman, New Jersey. He's one of our New Jersey f pals. Yes. Tri-state area. Loves Phil. Huh? And he loves Phil. And he nobody's no. perfect. Who says he loves Phil? He, yeah, oh, never he, never said that. No, he Jeez. didn't say that. God damn it. But anyway, no, he was on it. We did a little, you know, a little thing yesterday and he called then and uh, it was great to have him there. So now we have him here and it's great to have him here. Thank and, you. And uh, you know, let's see here. Who's trying to call us? Oh yeah. Here 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 comes uh, uh, Phil Meyer, uh, if, if he just uh, clicks on his button, we'll have him Boom. there. Huh? Boom! There we and there go. he is. There he is. There's there's Phil. Hey. Good, good, uh, good evening, everybody. Yeah, good uh, except evening. Howard, good yeah. afternoon. Yeah. Good afternoon. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, you weren't here last week, Howard. Were you doing something interesting? I apologize. Yeah, I was actually working. It just so happened like I had showings right at the same time because your show starts at 4.30. And I don't know. I had a lot of 4.30, 5 o'clock showings. Hey, listen, you know, we do the show every Monday. I've been doing kind of a little show, just what I call a pop-up show at uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, and um, it, it, so many people watch that. That I'm wondering if four o'clock in the afternoon isn't a better idea <laughs> than this. See, what time. is that? Huh? That'd be uh, ten o'clock in the morning for me. Yeah, well, I'm probably okay for that. that. Yeah, you could do that. Hello, Charlie, uh, Texas. Hey, How, yeah. How's Texas doing today? Oh, um, it's cooled off a little bit. Yeah. I still won't go outside. What do you mean it's cooled off? 
Well, it's only like 92. Oh, I thought you meant that the death, the number of people who got coronavirus went down. Um, a little bit. It's right around 10,000 now instead of the 13, 14,000 it was last week. Do you today. know that California is now set to surpass New York in the amount of people yeah. that have had COVID? I see that. Yeah. Ouch. No longer do we have to see ourselves at the top of the list. Nope. But here's what I got to tell you. How many deaths do you think we had in all of New York State uh, yesterday? Three. Try one less. Two? Two. Two. For and, the whole state? And none of them were in New York City. Wow. Nice. That's pretty good. You yeah. know, considering we were at 800 a couple of months ago, that's pretty amazing. You know? It's a kind of a miracle here. Our uh, percentage of tests that came back positive, though, went up slightly. I think we're at a 1.3, but we hover around 1.4, sometimes a 0.9, you know. Um, so uh, the governor is, doesn't seem to be worried about that. And, uh, you know, the number of people who are hospitalized went up about 10 people, but that was about it, you know. So it's up around 725 people who are hospitalized for COVID in the entire state. Wow. That's not bad. You know? Every state ought to do what New York did. Well, yep. of course, of course. And our governor has offered uh, the expertise of our people uh, to help any state that wants it. And uh, yesterday he went down to Savannah, Georgia to help them. And he sent uh, Desivere to, uh, to uh, uh, Florida, and he brought some PPE down to Savannah, and he's willing to help any state that wants to know what we did here and how we did it and how they can do it too. Uh, you know, it, it, it was a plan, and the plan worked, you know, so. Yeah, but we've, we've had some insanity going on here with people going out and having partying in the streets and so on, so they yanked some liquor licenses. It's what, you know, the places that allowed it to go on outside their place and inside their place, they just said, boom, that's it, you know. How are things in New Jersey? Are the numbers okay over there? Um, uh, they've actually been pretty good, um, much like New York. Mm -hmm. We had a surge at the beginning. We were one and two with you guys. Yeah. And then it, it, it seemed like we fell in lockstep where we declined much like New York did. Well, the three states got together and kind of yeah. cooperated with each other on what they were going to do and how they were going to do it, right. you know, which was kind of amazing. But out in California, uh, the, they're up around four. What is, what is it? What, are, what were we? I can't remember the number we were at. The, the, I think it was like 420,000. We were at 420,000, and they're at 400,000 right now. Yeah, I saw, yeah, they just passed 400,000, yeah. Yeah. So uh, it looks like we're going to be... Um, be kind of the pikers now, which is good, you know. Uh, but we'll, so, we'll pass you in the next month. So, so far as deaths are concerned, uh, we're, you know, the lowest in the country. We're the lowest in the world. Yeah. You know, now that's amazing. That is just amazing. I call it the New York miracle. I saw a death chart today that showed the United States uh, per million uh, that our mm -hmm. our deaths were the lowest of yeah, uh, that, all the major yeah, countries. That was uh, that was the chart that Trump chose to show, because it's the way of parsing it that makes you look better than you really are. Uh, well, but actually, we actually, let me give you something else. Of the tests given, the percentage of people who have come up positive in the United States is twenty percent. Do you know what it is in, in, in the European nations, average? Nope. 1%. I guess uh, we got herd immunity then. No, we don't have herd immunity. Uh, how we, many? There's what no such thing. That we, aren't, we aren't even approaching herd immunity, Phil. What's the percentage that's needed to achieve that? I think it's somewhere around 50%. Yes. 50 to Give us time. Yeah. We're working oh, on it. Oh, yeah. Eventually, it'll go away. Yeah. When it warms up, yeah, when, we, when, we, when we get a when we Isn't get a, it hot enough, when we get a vaccine, <laughs> when we get a vaccination. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it looks like there's three companies that are uh, close to. Uh, but you know who's developed it? 
uh, the Chinese because they no. stole the information? No. It, well, you know, I don't care if they so, stole the information. No. I don't. What, I what, think we what, should what, what's, what's the problem with that? Well, you see, I think that we should well, share what, it. Phil, with what's, all what's the, the problem with that? What's he complaining about? What, is what did it? I just say? Yeah. I think what we did should I just share, say? share it with anybody. You know, but all I'm saying is, as long as they didn't go in and try and screw up the tests, you know, the, maybe the they are. But what, what did I say? I said I think we should share it with all countries around the world. Oh yeah, I think so too. You know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that it shouldn't be a money maker. It should be. Uh, we should give it to the Russians. We should give it to the Chinese. We should give it to all of them. Yeah. So what yep. are they complaining about? They're trying to steal it. Big deal. The only thing that you know we got to charge for is Brian's tests. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. But development is one thing, and distribution, a mass distribution, is something altogether different. Yeah. 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 And uh, uh, I don't know what's it going to be like when the when the vaccination does come out. You know, are we going to be all be clamoring for them all at once? Will there be long lines to get the shot? Uh, depends on how they mass produce it. Well, I think the first thing they should do is they should have a priority. First people to get it are old people. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, but what I was saying that happened today with the president is he's giving out these statistics that are completely skewed. They're, then it's not the way to look at it. You look at the percentage of tests that. Am I right about this, Brian? You look at the number of tests that come back positive, and then look at that percentage. Uh, yes. And and our percentage in the United States is somewhere around twenty percent right now. That's one statistic. Well, that, that's not a statistic. That's the actual numbers, Phil. People yeah, take tests, and those are the coming back of the tests. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? That's a, that, that's a Trump's new data. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, saw that. That's good. <laughs> that's how you test it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, these are these, these aren't statistics that are played with. This is the amount of people who take the test and come up positive. You know, it's a percentage. And Don't we most have, people that take the test show symptoms, or they're going to have some sort of surgery. So you no, know, no, I would a, a think a lot of people get it because they want to make sure they don't have it. In California, uh, they don't want to give it to you unless you got symptoms. Yeah. Well, uh, no, so, no, but here in here in New York now, anybody can get them. Hello, yeah, Pedro we, Bourbon. Uh, hey, Bourbon. Is that Bourbon? Uh, bur bourbon. Yeah, bur Bourbon. Bourbon. <laughs> bourbon. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, Phil, you're trying to parse this thing. It, what he did was he was, I saw him with uh, Chris Wallace. He was driving Chris Wallace crazy. He wouldn't answer questions straight. I felt so sorry for Chris Wallace. Never felt sorry for Chris Fawless before in my life, you know. Uh, but he was just uh, he was just taking statistics. Hand me the paper. I've got a paper here, and I'll show you the statistic. And then if you looked at the paper he was reading, the print was really large. It was like yeah. this size. Yeah. And I, think like the, and I think the rest of it was <clears throat> cartoons or something. So that he <laughs> know what to that say. That one, all it said was, United States, rank number one, death rate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was at the bottom. Well, I mean, the thing was that countries that got it first got it the worst and had the least information to work on. You know, today we have a few things we do with these people in the hospitals. It's different than we were doing in the very beginning. Yeah. And that's what's save, starting to save lives. But uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, right now we have more deaths per, uh, than any other country. Now, if you want to go per capita, that's a different story, but a death is a death, so far as I'm concerned. Whether you got a hundred deaths or you got a thousand deaths, a death is a death, okay? And um, and and to say, oh well, we have the lowest percentage of deaths in the uh, per capita. Well, you know, you get a you true. get a little country like Sierra, Sierra Leone, and uh, you say, how many deaths have there been there? And I've got that they got a really high percentage death rate. Even Brazil and Russia have lower percentages of deaths than we do. Yeah, yeah. not according to that uh, thing I saw today. Well, that was that even was, that Trump's was Trump's graph story. showed Brazil. It didn't have Russia on it, but it showed Brazil being lower than, than the U.S. It had France at the top and then U.K. Uh, 
Yeah. And then the other countries yeah, were but that, lower. But that was that was that was uh, uh, per what was it per capita that one? Yeah, that one was per, per capita. Million? Yeah, but, but per, per cap capita doesn't count. How many people died under your watch is what counts, you know? Well, there was uh, what fourteen shot uh, earlier. Was it today in Chicago? I guess those are you're all changing. COVID deaths. You're changing the topic, Phil. Oh, those are all COVID deaths. Those are yeah. not COVID oh, deaths. Not COVID deaths. But don't yeah. worry, because the president will send the Look. troops in there and solve the problem. Yeah, do I hope so. Do you realize, everybody? Hi, Kevin. How you doing? Uh, do you realize that we're actually have been attacked go. by our own government? Yeah. Yep. Illegally. Well, yep. If you're going to attack. The buildings that I, as a citizen, own. I own, I won't I own them too, and I I don't really give a shit. Well, that then, 65, you don't have... no, that sixty-five year old man who got beat up right on camera was not attacking the building. He was just standing there. Standing he, there. Did you he, start, he, he was in the didn't wrong say anything. Place. Didn't do anything. Wrong These place, illegal, wrong time. But please. Alex, if if you don't care about the buildings, that's okay. You don't have to. They're care. just federal. Go care. The government fe I federal care. government buildings, and I think, uh, uh, you know, if if people feel that that's where they want to protest, that's where they should protest because that's where the government protest. is. Protest is one thing, but destroy, uh, assault police. Phil, did and... they destroy a building? Yeah, they they no. ride all no, over. No, it. that's not destroying that's it. That can not come off. Destroying it. That can Maybe come off. Basic. They're damaging public property. Well, you know, and see, there we go again. In there we think and more. Them, we think more. Board these people. We think more of property than we do of, pe of people. Yep. Yeah. Uh, if you, th those are rioters, not protesters. Rioters? No. no they, they're, um, they're, uh, do you see uh, the line of people there? Mothers. Hey, Mothers? they were they were hanging out with the wrong people. Bullshit. What happened what about to the free Navy speech? guy that got his, his legs? Freedom hung. of assembly. What happened That's with in the not, Constitution? But yeah. not attacking uh, police officers. Nobody's attacking the guy that better than 65 year veteran wasn't attacking on. anybody. Charlie, you have blinders on. You haven't been out of your house in months and it's showing. <laughs> I got my TV. <laughs> no. Bill, <laughs> well, the guy wasn't doing anything. He was a veteran. Come on. Yeah. You have, you have to say that was wrong. You have he to had say that a was felony wrong. backpack. You have on. to say that was wrong. Please. I don't know. I don't know if it was wrong. Uh, I don't know the whole story. And neither Phil, do we. you can't feel okay, good. But what you, you can't feel good. You know, you tell me that the reason we have to have guns is in case our government wants to take over. And now you hear our here's our government trying to take over and you don't say, hey, they're, take guns to not, the streets. They're not taking over, Alex. They're protecting. They are. No, they're not protecting. protecting to begin with, our, okay, why, why are they, don't they have anything on them that says who they are? Why do they oh, show up? Wrong. Wait a minute. Why do they show up with black vans with no, uh, no uh, uh, designation on them? Why? Okay. Diva. I'm going to people to be secure in their persons. That's, it's the uh, Fourth Amendment. They're violating no, Let me answer that. Uh, the the deal is uh, yeah. the the uh, the acting secretary his name is Wolf did a uh, did a presentation today yeah okay uh, you're gonna, and, and you're gonna what believe he it. said was he, what he said was is that uh, all of those people were marked with police on on they their said back. police that's they all are. they said no it didn't listen let me finish I saw them raise your voice to me okay? I, I me saw finish. them. I'll raise it again. I, I saw them. Well, you I'm telling you what this guy Wolf said. I don't give a shit what he said. He's a Trump uh, 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 flunky. Appointee. He's a, he's a Trump appointee. Yeah, he's making an excuse for the government. Not making an excuse? Let me Yes, he explain. is. Go ahead, explain it. You you okay. know. They have spit a patch. back what they fed you, Phil. Right. They have a patch. Uh, that says which uh, unit they're from, whether they're from Homeland Security or uh, uh, other other uh, factions. On the patch, they have their badge number. The reason they don't have their name is because of doxing. They don't want the families of these police officers being doxed uh, by the protesters. What's doxed? 
uh, what they do is they put their information up on the web where they live and and mm. so forth, so that people can attack their families and their homes. Well, maybe they'll think about getting another job. Well, that's not the way it works. So how come that doesn't happen with regular cops? They have I, their it does problem. happen with regular cops. I still have. You know, uh, you know when it says police that it's, for instance, in Seattle, it's the Seattle police. In Portland, it's the Portland police. Well, Here, the, you don't know what police it's it is. The federal it police. Could, it could have been. No, but know, it didn't say that. And you know from the patch what, that's on their when that's on their side. When somebody's but, tear gassing, what? you can't see the fucking patch, Phil. Wait hey. a minute. Kevin's going. No, no, no. What, Kevin? There ain't no patch. Yeah. Well, yeah, then, then this guy I Wolf. Police. If the, if it even says that, the one I saw it didn't have anything. There didn't have any fatigued. patches on the ones I saw. I didn't see any patches either. Wolf is Banana, lying, no patches, Phil. You're eating the lie. Minivans. You're gullible. I'm gullible. You guys are eating no, no, the don't lie. Don't throw it back Listen at me. You can't throw back the same argument. That's what I them. saw, Phil. Okay. Now, Charlie said something about why police officers don't have this. Well, let me tell you something, Charlie. I happen to my driver's license. If I get pulled over or somebody runs my license, it's got a it's uh, it goes back to the police department. I have what's called a um, I, I forget what they call it, but it's it's uh, you know, my information is not available to the public. It just goes back to the PD. And uh, I've had that. Why for, would federal officers information be any different? Uh, it, it isn't any different. It's just that if they have the name, there's ways through the Internet of them determining who they are, where they are, where their families live. <laughs> and, and for their protection, their name isn't on the uniform, but their number, their badge number is. Then, then I would what about say it's our probably, protection? It's probably a good idea that the president doesn't send their ass in there then. Not necessarily. No, uh, I would they're, think they're, not because it, it's a state's right. Why are they even going it's in? Not a state, they have no it's jurisdiction. not a state's right to throw uh, Molotov cocktails or try to well, burn then down. Then let the locals people. take care of it. Then well, the locals, the locals aren't take care taking care of it. The mayors are standing down. They're afraid of these people. They were afraid. taking care of it when I went through there yeah, two weeks ago. They're afraid of them. How, you know. The, those, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Troopers provoked it. You were the there a couple of weeks ago, right, it. Kevin? Yeah, I was. Okay, tell us what it was like. Did you see any of it? Well, I was there the day after, but they were taking care of it. Yeah. Now they were being overrun, but they were taking care of it. Did you go to Charlie? Apparently, chop? the president assumed that it wasn't good enough, so he sent the feds in. Were you in Portland or were you in Seattle? I was in Portland, right on Third Street and Salmon. Okay, well, there's, uh, they're saying this has been going on for 51 days. It has been going on for about a month, yeah. Yeah, but uh, but those stormtroopers provoked it. It was calm. It was calming yeah, down. and they made it worse. Yeah. Well, they because it was calming it by, down. They it was they calming down the, day, the days that I was there. They were slowing down, and then the they, feds came in, and it just got totally worse. So they provoked it by protecting uh, federal property. No, they provoked it by going in there down the street, you yeah. know, from where they were and just going in there and scooping it, people up. Yeah. By the way, they protection. also they also weren't telling them why they were being arrested. Yeah. Uh, the Wolf said that. I don't that give a shit what Wolf said. He's a goddamn gov Trump appointee. Yeah, he's, he's making well, excuses. Uh, he's making excuses Pinko. for their bad. He's making excuses. He's an apologist for bad behavior. He was. He gave his conference and he told them uh, the the way it is. If you don't want to believe it, it you know, says the same thing. So manifestos I believe you. you read. Kaylee they also the were not thing. telling them you. what they were being arrested for. Right. Right. Yeah, Trump. Where did they get the brought to? Trump's just laying the groundworks for the election. That's all it is. He has his own private stormtroopers. Uh, yep. He's going, to declare, he's going to declare a national emergency, <laughs> suspend the whole election, and and we're we're gonna we're gonna get it's gonna be fucked. Oh, John, the sky is falling. Uh, you wait and see. Yeah. Mm. And, and he's not going to leave the White House in four years either. What? And in four years, he's not going to leave the White House either. That's right. For he, he'll pro they'll probably try to change the Constitution to say that he can stay there permanently. He wants to be just like Putin. Yeah, mm. exactly. That's what Obama wanted, too. 
No, no. Oh, really? Right. Uh, Obama oh, left pretty easily when it was over with. What do you mean that's what Obama yeah, wanted? He, he, Come on, he don't had, give me moronic oh, talk. Obama though. tried to fuck his his uh, his presidency up. He he put his people in jail. He he uh, uh, led people? all sorts of what investigations. What are you talking, what are you talking, about? talking about? What, yeah, people? what about Flynn? How about Flynn? Flynn wasn't even criminal. president when Flynn was put in jail. Uh, oh Flynn, yeah, but Obama Flynn broke the law. Said, Obama set it up, and Biden looked into Flynn 17 times in the last two weeks. It doesn't uh, matter. Trump, Trump was in power Biden. when he got arrested and put in jail. Yeah. They Flynn broke the law. Up. They set him up. No, he broke the law. You know, he, he got set up, it, and it was a process crime. Yeah, Al Capone they set, set him up, up when he took $500,000 to yeah. Turkey, doing illegal lobbying for Turkey? Was that set up? I don't no. know. That it, it was that illegal? Yes, yes. It's illegal. because it was not reported. It yeah. has to be a registered foreign agent. Yeah, he's representing a foreign country. Prior to uh, him taking the position, or was yeah. this something that... No, uh, he, he failed to report it. He never reported it. Oh, 500 I think a building is a big crime, but not reporting your actions with a foreign government get looked over. That's yeah, fine know. with you. That's just that's just fucking well, ridiculous. Then that, then that should have been uh, what he was prosecuted for, but they prosecuted and he was. He was. But guess who just reason, let him out? The reason they didn't charge him with that is because he did the plea deal. Yeah. Well, he uh, he did the plea deal because they broke him, and they and they. Oh, they put him and that was oh, one of the dude. things that broke him because they oh, and they, send they, him threatened away his, they threatened to put his kid in jail. And Don't you choke on the Kool Aid at a certain yeah. point? Boy, you really are drinking the Kool Aid, Phil. He likes it. Yeah. I, I think what, that what your flavor, on what, red fla book. what flavor is it? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's red. You know, and just there's a, a comet just, coming by rough, next week. You're gonna smash the wall. Jump on that. <laughs> he comes to the wall, remember? Yeah, that's good. Boy. I tell you one thing. I was reading Biden's new uh, economic plan. Alex, if he gets elected, I'm going to get a raise. He wants to he wants to give uh, hire more caregivers because of the uh, pandemic exposed the uh, nursing homes. Mm, he wants yeah. more at home caregivers where they're not so great. Close to get that's good for me. Yeah, I mean I don't what, need. What about your crazy. electric bill, Tony? You like that? Well, I still got to pay it by the home. Yeah, well, if it goes from 400 billion, what we all pay for electric, to yeah. six trillion. Uh, you're not oh, going to Why is that, that going to happen, from? Phil? Oh, because of the where, where, plan. where the fuck you get that number from? I, I get it from his plan. Where did you get his plan oh, from? <laughs> where you know did you I get it, it from, from, Phil? <laughs> reliable sources. Okay. Anonymous <laughs> reliable <laughs> sources. Deep <laughs> road. Oh, by the Both way. Oh, yeah. by the way. Yes. No concern expressed for the victims of COVID. No expression yeah. of remorse for the people that have been through hard times. But he wishes Miss Maxwell yes, well. Yes, I was going to bring that up. I was going to bring that up. Phil, yeah. you know who Giselle, what is it, Giselle Maxwell, Jezeline Maxwell is? Yeah. Hmm? Uh, that's uh, the uh, cohort. How's it pronounced? Uh, Gilan. 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 Yeah. Yes. Uh, he, she is uh, in jail right now, charged with what? What is she charged with, Phil? Uh, is it recruiting uh, child prostitution? Uh, trafficking uh, youth. Se sex trafficking. Yeah. Yeah. Recruiting mm -hmm. children. Yeah. Uh, underage sex trafficking. Yeah. Uh, twice today, at the press conference. Did you watch the press conference? I watched Wolf. Did you watch press, the press conference with the president today? No. He wished Giselle, G I can't pronounce her first name. Ghislaine. Uh, uh. Ghislaine Maxwell. He wished her well. Well. And then, yeah. and then he started talking a little bit more about it. And he again said, but I wish her well. Uh, you know, that's called due process. And uh, oh, Jesus, Phil. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. This he doesn't guy. give a fuck you, about you due don't process. You don't want due process for protesters. anybody except your criminal friends. Phil, you don't wish some... It, it, he's wishing a person accused of sex trafficking well. That means, I hope, that means I hope you get off. No, that means I wish you well. 
that that's uh, Phil. That Phil, Phil, why don't you injured. just say why don't you just say that he probably didn't even know who she was, and he answered that the question. Probably, he knew who she was. Yeah, actually, that's was he, not true. Was he at the parties, you know, according to you guys. Yes, I have pictures of him with. There were about ten pictures of him with her. Yeah. yeah. And she he was hugging her. with the rich and famous. And I wish him. I, he wished her well. So I, I guess, I guess he's hoping she gets away with it. Well, I'm so sure that Clinton. Is How do you feel? Why she, can't you just say he really <laughs> fucked up this time? I don't. Mm -hmm. I didn't hear it, and I don't. You didn't know hear it? Concept. Would you like me to find it and play it for you? Sure. No. It'll Somebody go. who's got a computer out there, see if you can just find that clip. He, she, he said it twice. He didn't just say it once. Right. He reset it a second time. I wish Sounded her like, well was the term. Sounded well, like he, he was saying, don't worry, I got your back. When he yep. pardons her, that's when you got to worry about it. Oh, you'll but, find an excuse You know, for what's going to happen, she's going to get off because she's going to expose, uh, unless she gets killed, she's going to expose a lot of people. Including Donald Trump. Trump's right next to everyone. Uh, I, I think Bill Clinton is uh, is ripe for the picking. Probably, oh, maybe. Clinton doesn't maybe. have any power. Trump does. Yeah. Uh, Clinton had a dynasty for years. He was running the show. Uh, yeah, you, know, you, you you always take it off of Trump. No, that's not know, off. All is I'm saying is, if you were intelligent about this, you would say, "Well, he made a big mistake today by saying that." I don't. I don't know one uh, whether that's correct or not. I, how correct am I, gentlemen? Anybody hear the quote? Yes. Yes. I, 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 did. Did. I heard it. I found it. I watched it and I looked uh, at Howard. Mark, found I, it. I looked at. Mark, you found it, Howard? Can yeah, you, on can NBC twelve dot com. Trump says, "Delane Maxwell, I wish her well." They even got a video. Can you, can, you, can, you, can, well. you, can you play that? Yeah. Can you get the audio on? Uh, let's see. You want to play it? Hold on, they want to play a commercial. I just watched it on YouTube before I came on. Yeah. Do you have it at all there, Kevin? Uh, I got to pull it up because I watched it just a minute ago. Yeah. If if he said exactly that, Phil, will you then say he probably made a big mistake? I don't know. I think that Elaine Maxwell deserves due process. No, that that I agree with you on. If she makes it that long. But but he yeah. yeah. But, but therefore she's innocent until proven yes, guilty. But you don't, but the but you don't have you, to wish her well. But you don't have to wish her well. What, what is you trying to wish her bad? I say you would say I hope no, she gets I hope, her anything. I hope Dang. she gets a he, fair he trial. Wish anybody well. Well but yeah he, and he, hope her well. he didn't get a trial. We'll see. You know, what's okay, funny hold, on a, second. hold on a second. Howard, okay. do you have it? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't really been following it too much. I just wish her well, frankly. Uh, I've met her numerous times over the years, especially since I lived in Palm Beach. And I guess they lived in Palm Beach. Uh, but I wish her well, whatever it is. Uh, I don't know the situation with Prince Andrew. Just don't know. Not aware of it. He's not aware of anything. What about with him? <laughs> He's not aware of it. He doesn't know what's going yes, on. Yes, but he wishes, he's Andrew. not aware of it, so he wishes her well. Right. He knows the situation. He wasn't with aware of it with the prince. With the prince, but he he knew her. And he knows the situation with him and her. Replay it. it was, he didn't know anything to know about that. He doesn't experience. know it, the situation. Play but he it again, nothing. Howard. Play it again. Can you play it again? The situation with the prince. What's his name? That's all. For, and and Howard, and play it one more time. <laughs> Phil, he digs yeah. himself into a deep. Yeah. <laughs> Phil just absolutely refuses. Imagine if you were Trump's lawyer, Alex. You would just uh, give up. <laughs> Let me see here. Howard's trying to find it again. Listen to it carefully. People, I know you've talked in the past about Prince Andrew, and uh, you criticized Bill Clinton's behavior. I'm wondering, uh, do you feel that she's going to turn in powerful men? How do you see that working out? I don't know. I haven't really been following it too much. I just wish her well, frankly. Uh, I've met her numerous times over the years, especially since I lived in Palm Beach, and I guess they lived in Palm Beach. Uh, but I wish her well, whatever it is. Uh, I don't know the situation with Prince Andrew. Just don't know. Not aware of it. Okay. This is this okay, is they are good people on both sides. Yep. Yeah. 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 yeah he's right. That's what this is. It's called they're innocent until proof guilty. Don't have to wish her well. 
That's, yeah. that's no not comment. what it is, and Phil. No, I, you know, no, I can well. I can sit here and say I hope she gets a fair trial, but I can also not say I wish her well. Well, yeah. maybe that's part of the fair trial. Yeah. No, it isn't, Phil. You, come that's on. Bullshit. You want? Why won't you admit it, Phil? Why can't you? Because I'm can't not you? going to admit it. No. That was his code for "I got your back." Yep. You'll get the <laughs> Roger Stone treatment. Yeah. No, that, <laughs> don't kill yourself. I that's agree, Charlie. Don't take a risk to get you yeah. off the yeah. rack. That's it. You know what that is? That's him saying, "If you're don't listening, uh, Maxwell, uh, uh, if you don't turn me in." Right. There's a good chance I'll do what for you what I did for Roger Stone. Yeah, yes. you know what that could be. No, the, Alex, there's, there's only 45 uh, people uh, uh, listening. Kevin, right? I, Kevin he says, yeah. I'm sorry you committed suicide two weeks from now. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's what Hillary said. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, I, uh, it, it, Phil, come on. Come on. The man's a moron. I wish her well. The man's I a hope fucking gets moron. But I wish her well. The man's a moron. He's stupid. He, he, is he just stupid? Is he's he not. Just, he's not. I don't. Me. You know, in a way, I don't think he knows what the reporter was talking about. You know, you, you okay. remember what you said about a fair trial? <laughs> <laughs> Phil, it has then, nothing to do with a fair trial. Oh, I can. Really? I wanted to get a fair trial, but I don't doing. wish her well. <laughs> No, what you know, you had mentioned on other situations when he had chimed in about murderers and so forth that he was giving uh, the, the the fact that the guy would never get a fair trial by by him just saying, "Hey, no, you know, uh, what I was saying, what oh, no. oh, he wouldn't he wouldn't wish a serial killer. I wish him well. Ted Bundy, he killed he too many well. people and shot him in the head in front of everybody. Well, I wish him well. Yeah, what he do you knew, think? What do you think? person. You, they were neighbors. What do you think of Adolf Hitler? I wish him well. <laughs> I wish him well. <laughs> you know? I'm going to go get some popcorn. <laughs> and a shovel. <laughs> Did you ever read this book? What? Uh, Peanuts? Yeah. 1951. Uh, really? Original issue. Ah, wow. I probably, probably, I, I probably either saw it at the time or maybe even had it. I don't remember. Tony's yelling at you. Stop touching that book. Put <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it in a box. What's the I've already read it a bunch of times. I can get my price for it. Wait, a wait oh, we're now we're going to trade co show collections. You can do it, Charlie. Uh, I look at the price for I have a price guy. Look at that. The this is okay. okay. This is well, the Peanuts book. How much is the Peanuts book? Or, or? What, what's the title exactly? It's what's this Peanuts? Reinhardt. Peanuts. Is, is, is that a paperback or a comic? It's a paperback. It's a paperback. With comics. Oh, holy shit! I've it's, got that. I can't look that up here, Alex, because it's not a comic. It's a true. Right? It's Mine's a in a lot worse shape, though. It's only for comics. But I'll take a look oh, really? So, but you have the same one. I have the same one that I've read about fifty times, and it's just all bedraggled. Oh, where'd boy. you pay for it? Three ninety five. No, it was a like ninety five cents. Oh. Did you get that at that uh, store in that oh, no. center next to the police department? There's like a, a used store. Oh, Rainbow uh, Attic. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I love that. We store. get it. You've been to Hawaii, Phil. <laughs> these these <laughs> came from San Mateo. I've had oh, these since okay. I was a little boy. Some oh, of them I got at the San Mateo Library at the book. Got a whole bunch of Peanuts books. See, he's got them. That I bought in the '70s for less than a dollar. Yeah. Wow. All of mine, I bought like I'm a garage. You, you know, I, I got that book. Me. We we might not hear from Charlie anymore. Yeah, yeah. Charlie's too busy. Uh, 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 what do you call it? What do you do to comic books? Grady. He's probably grading your book right now. You know. Oh, he's got him? I don't have it in here. No, I'm telling you, I've got about 30 of them. 30 of these. Oh, I'm sure it's worth something. Well, I, for instance, I bought, I bought, I bought every issue of Mad Magazine, Mad Comics when it came oh. out, and then Mad Magazine. How much mm -hmm. is the? Do you have it in there? How much is the first uh, copy of Mad Magazine? Mad Magazine, they should Magazine. have that. Not that, comics, not Mad Magazine. Not that Pop culture. So. Oh. Yeah, I, I have about forty of those in mm -hmm. baggies, pristine condition, and I have a, in a box somewhere. But you they're know, not that much. Like three or four dollars each. You know what I have in storage? I have every one of the first twenty National oh. Lampoons. 
Tony. Ah. In, in fairly good condition. And, I, your name in there? Including there the go. one that nobody can lay their hands on because the uh, uh, distributor burned down before cents. they could distribute them, but I got one of them. And it was well, the one with Abby Hoffman on the cover. Ah. Yeah, they were only 50 cents back then, those books. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Tony. 40 cents. Yeah. 40. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. What do you got? Let me see. Wacky packages. Oh, yeah. I used to collect those the stickers, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty big. I remember I used to rip. Yeah. They let you bring those into Hawaii? Actually, I don't know if they grade those. I know Welcome to the Nerd Hawaii. Hour, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I used to have those. Yeah, I used to have the whole set. I have a toy truck I could show. <laughs> this is clean. Uh, you do? Uh, okay. Or kids. Painted a dry thing. Oh, that one won't work. I've got a, a DVD over here worth $300. There you go. I, I've, I've got a something better than that. You got a I letter got a from John food. Lennon. Yep, I got hey, a postcard um, from John Lennon. What? What is that? It's, it's, like a, it's like a saxophone and a clarinet. And it was invented by this guy in Maui. They're made in Maui. Have you ever heard of these? Huh. Wow. Yeah, it's called a recorder. A that phone? I am in sixth recorder. grade. Recorder. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. It, 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 you you got to no. use a, a, a reed. They're hard That's... as hell to play. Wow. Hey, Phil. Yeah. Here's, here's some soap for you. Uh, uh, Jerkins. Jerkins. Jerkins hand soap. What what are we what what is this turned into? Jello. <laughs> Jello. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. It's show and tell You're with right. Alex. Yeah, the problem yeah. is mine are in terrible condition. I couldn't get a dime for them. Well, you never know. <laughs> condition is never Yeah, that's all right. Sentimental value. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's certain things I won't sell. Yeah. Anyway, um, so uh, Kevin, um uh, what do you think of what we we're saying tonight? Uh, did you did you see the president on the Fox at all? Yeah. What'd you I think? The... What'd you think? Wasn't he brilliant? Yeah, he actually toned down the orange a little bit today. Oh, was that or today? Was Are you talking about today? I'm talking about the uh, the uh, interview he did with Chris Wallace for. Oh no, no no I haven't seen that yet. I saw the bits and pieces of it, but I did see yeah. uh, the worst parts of it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, I felt sorry for. Chris Wallace. He couldn't get a straight answer out of him. No, no, he couldn't. Yeah. Uh, and he kept calling on Kaylee to bring in papers with big print and stuff. Yeah, with big print. Yeah, we, we here, bring that in here. Yeah, see? See? Per se, yeah, the, I'll have to watch that. Per, I the, it. What, what, deaths per 100,000 100, people or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah hey, so you can parse, it, okay to wear you can parse mask, it any way you want to, but the fact is we have what do we have now? One hundred and forty thousand dead. Is that Over the current number? Yeah. yeah. Redirecting the funds is nothing more than defunding the police. And so when Trump said that he def he was defunding the police and he asked for the uh, uh, for the transcript, uh, you know, re redirecting funds. Hey, but is, what Trump said was he wanted taking to, it no, away from no, the no, police. No, no, no. What, what Trump said was. He has advocated defunding the police. He right. couldn't. He said it was on that in that list, whatever that list was, yeah. and he couldn't find it. No, nope. because it was because it wasn't there. there. Now, there defund, right. it, it, redirecting the money is a little different than defunding the police. What you're doing? Uh -huh. No, yes, it is, Phil. Because you're what taking you're taking the money. You and you're let me it tell you what it means, Phil. Only if okay. no yell. Well, I have to yell because you won't shut up long enough for me to say what I got to say. Uh, and I okay. forgot what so I what was going to say. What, is, what does redirecting the money mean? It means that you're going to take the money and put it into some social programs which may help mitigate and slow down all the other problems. In other words, redirect the money into some areas where you feel it can do the most good instead of just simply buying them another Uzi, you know? Hmm. Now, your friend, uh, Sean, what's his name on uh, Fox? Uh, he he said that he studies uh, jujitsu and karate. And he said that well, how if come you, he's so fat? I don't know. Uh, but he said that if you teach officers how to use other forms of control rather than a taser or uh, the gun or, or anything else like that, 
uh, you know, you can you can control a situation. It beats putting your your knee on someone's neck. So he said, you know, with just two fingers, he can control a person. And he said, you know, if you're going to redirect the money, redirect it towards training and, you know, teach these officers these things. He well, says, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can um, um, redirect uh, Sean Hannity with one finger. That's it, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> two fingers. <laughs> no, but, but Phil, the and as I said the other day, you know what this is? That's one of those, two of those. Anyway, uh, no, that, that's 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 framing a moron. There's a the moron Phil, in the middle right there. But Phil, when you're when you're like the guy who had wherever his name is, had the 18, 18 complaints against them, that's mm. what I think has to be Chevron. refunded. Chevron. Uh, yeah, yeah. That has to be defunded. That you can't train. You can't say, Oh, yeah, you're at eighteen, but well, we're gonna put you in training now. That's bullshit. Well, you know, uh, the uh the departments uh you know they don't seem to they don't seem to deal with that kind of stuff. And, you know, the 18 complaints, you, it's, it's easy in a high crime area to get complaints against you if you're proactive. But, but you can't just let them slide and keep moving them around. Yeah, I you call, have to do I some call, investigation with them. I call choking somebody in the neck, uh, you know, I call that proactive. Did you read the autopsy I sent you? Of uh, no, I don't read any of the shit what? you send me. So I, wouldn't, <laughs> well, I, I, wouldn't, I think you're wasting your time, Phil. Okay, I sent you the autopsy. Uh, that was done by an, an independent uh, uh, state uh, uh, coroner. Yeah. And it said that, uh, I can't remember the name of the of the thing, but if it wasn't broken, then he, he the guy did not die of asphyxiation or, uh, or the knee Phil, on his neck. He died, uh, okay. it, it, let's say he didn't die of that. Let's say he died of a heart attack from the situation or whatever. He's still What's dead, wrong? and he's dead as a result of the... Uh, uh, of the of the aggressive use of force against him by the police. Uh, it, it seems as though there was also uh, some other circumstances that arrived that uh, I think he said he wanted his cuffs. They were too tight. They had him uh, in the car, right? And then they took him out of the Phil, car. To what were they the arresting him for in the first place? Uh, a a uh, crime That's of... Like a it was a uh, um, what do they call it? a twenty dollar bill that uh, was a counterfeit, counterfeit counterfeit bill. So it's a yes, it's title a police 18. term, Phil. I'm sorry, you that's don't sentence. know it. Uh, title eighteen. Yeah, that's sentence. Yeah, well, I don't know that he knew it was counterfeit. He didn't, I could uh, tell it, a counterfeit bill. He, he, I yeah. had a guy. I, I, I went to a, I went to a store once. I uh, gave a guy a twenty dollar bill. He looked at it and he said, "This is counterfeit." Uh, and I went, well, wait a minute, let me fin finish, Phil, please. Right. Don't be rude. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, I handed him a, uh, you know, and he told me this is a counterfeit. And I said, oh, wow, you know, I didn't know that. I mean, I, you know, so now I'm George, I'm George Floyd instead of Alex Bennett. I'm right. black. I get the cops coming, and they put they put me in a chokehold. If, if it were me, I'd go, hey, I didn't know that was counterfeit it's amazing and, and i said to the guy i said can i keep it because you know it'd be fun to just have a counterfeit bill you know and show it to people and go hey this is counterfeit right and they said so no no we got to keep it so they kept it but i didn't they didn't call the police they called the police because he was black they had treated him the way they treated him because he was black uh yeah you yeah. know well, i'm glad you agree phil I don't think they. Tr I think this guy had a personal beef uh, with George Floyd. It seems as though they worked together. Uh, they they worked at a nightclub. Wait a minute. Wait, George wait, 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 Floyd Hold gave him a time. Hold on a second. Our, our latest uh, our latest sucker to be on the show, yeah. Robert, is looking like oh my god, I can't stand what I just heard. Explain your look, Robert. The first night that that happened, Phil, you were on, I heard the show, you were on, and you said that the action that the cop took was deplorable. Of course it was. You ripped that guy up, side down, and sideways. Since then, you've kind of foxed up, and suddenly there might be mitigating circumstances. You know, he might have had a record. There was story behind the story. What happened to it was a deplorable action. 
course it was a deplorable action, and he should Period. have been controlled. Yes, he should have been controlled in, in other ways. Although there, uh, I'm not saying these mitigating circumstances give uh, give Siobhan any any safe harbor. Look at Kevin. I'm saying that Look at Kevin. Uh, I'm saying that uh, <laughs> there there were other things going on, and I don't know if it was because he was black. I think it was because uh, they had a, a beef together, and uh, and what he did, I I still say is deplorable, Robert. But you know, there's uh, there were other things that went on that didn't excuse his actions. I'm just Thank saying. You. Then let's uh, leave it there. Why? Then, then let's leave it there. Oh, the guy was an silence. asshole. No, you're trying to silence uh, any any uh, opinion other than your own. That's, How am that's, I trying that's, to that's, silence? Why should I you haven't it? shut up all night. Why should I leave it there? Because you don't know anything further. You're yes, talking I, about I, you're talking about the possibility that no. there were mitigating circumstances which you know nothing about. I read the autopsy. Oh, I, also I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah. All, all of the video, all of the video from across the street when they had him up against the wall and he was sitting down and then they got him up. None of that showed that the police need to have control. None of that counts. They, they, what, Brian, what'd you say? It didn't show that they had control? Did not show that they needed any kind of control for him. Well, why did the guy start fighting when they got him out of the back seat? I didn't, uh, I didn't see him fighting. Well, that's, fighting. What, that's what I uh, heard from other reports. No, what reports? Wolf, where? Again. Where? Wolf. No, it, uh, I don't remember where. <laughs> I wish him well. Uh, but uh, probably some from some of my cop pages that I that I. <laughs> no not, doubt. You know. But so, Scott, the, the, cop, cop excuse weekly. No, they have no excuse for this guy. It's just that you know maybe there's other information that uh, that doesn't. Well, you know what? No, I, I wish him well. Yeah, I do too. I wish him well, Phil. Your hormones are kicking in. Nah. <laughs> Oh, no, but they're not supposed to work that way. He's supposed you're, to become. You're feeling. You're feeling. You're feeling warm. Uh, ah. Yeah, yeah, this is the warm and fuzzy Phil. Yeah. Did you? Uh, <laughs> uh, did you see uh, any of you see that uh, meme? Phil, do you need on, a tissue? Yes, on Facebook uh, of um, uh, the Dukes of Hazard, uh, <laughs> uh, the PC Dukes of Hazard. Put asleep. The, uh, yeah, Phil sent it to me. It was pretty funny, actually. Yeah. The video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Is that, that one hilarious. of the things he sent me yeah. too? I wouldn't know. I don't look at them. Uh, well, I checked it out. Yeah, I had a cup of coffee. Well, I get yeah. so many things from him. I don't know which are him and which are people sending me stuff so they can screw with my computer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I just don't look at any of them. Yeah. Well, it was funny. It actually was pretty funny. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, and I don't so, send him anything that will educate him because he will just just try to lead. discredit it immediately. Yeah. So I guess as of the press conference this afternoon, uh, it's okay to wear a mask now. In fact, it's 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 <laughs> it's something we yeah, all it, should have been doing all this time. Uh, you you know it'll, what it'll, it'll make you a patriot. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, you're a patriot for doing Wonderful. it, and you know you're, the reason why. The reason why it it's kind of I, I don't know could it have something to do with the fact that his poll numbers are horrible? No. Oh, and that he decided he would change his whole tone and sound like he's all for solving the COVID so problem. Cynical. Hey, you know there was a time that they said don't wear a mask, but uh, the thing is. When Trump didn't want to wear a mask, Phil, that was in up. January. Yeah, beat him up. Regurgitate and now, shit again. And you now like a recording. And now that he's wearing a mask, you're beating him up. So he didn't wear a mask just the other night at his own hotel. And he was within five feet of people. Who and are, Lindsey who are, Graham who are, who are, who are, damn near kissed the guy. Yeah. No mask. No. Speaking he's of hotels. Okay, so Kevin. Yes. Speaking of hotels, you heard about the, the shit that he's been buying from China while he's bitching at China? Eight no. tons of Chinese... Uh, materials he's been buying from China just to 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 put in his hotel cables and all kinds of shit he's been buying from China. Yeah, hmm. he's not going to pay for it. He's paid. Well, he's, <laughs> he's supposedly paid for it. But. Uh 
Yes, supposedly. And he's bitching the, about the about the Chinese and their tariffs. In the turn, very buying latest shit from them. one. I'm sorry, Kevin. The very okay. latest one tonight came out mm -hmm. that he pressured Woody Johnson, who's the ambassador to the UK, to try to get the British Open moved to his golf course. Oh. And Woody Johnson didn't want to do it, but felt pressured to do so. And the British are thinking that this is the most inappropriate thing they'd ever heard. Now, his golf you know, course yeah, is he was buying stuff for that, too, the for the golf course. That's isn't it a golf course in Scotland? Uh, yeah, but so it's in the U.K., isn't it? Did, did, did well, there's also, one, there's also one in New Jersey, Phil. Yeah, but I, th I thought with the uh, Brexit that Scotland uh, is sort of separate now no is it true no 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 oh they're just not part of the brexit yes uh, so they're not part well, of the island had to leave too doesn't yeah. matter they're not paid for either so ireland still ireland is still in the the eu but scotland is not yeah okay EU. that yeah the eu northern ireland is still is still yeah. in brexit but yeah. not southern ireland yeah the republic of ireland Separate country. Yeah. Separate country. Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, but uh, I think that's illegal, you know, to, pre to you know, pressure a, a foreign country to, you know, that's what do they call that? Foreign em emoluments. Emoluments. Yeah. That, is, that is illegal. But, uh, you know, has has he been uh, uh, accused of this formally? You know. I wish him well. Where, where, yeah. yeah, where do you well. this information <laughs> that pressure? I love you, Robert. The UK. Yeah. Where, where, where did you find this information? Uh, New uh, York Times. New York Times. New York Times. Yeah. Oh, man, they, they, uh, their their editors are quitting right and left because of all the quotes. BS that with doing. quotes yeah. from the ambassador himself. Yeah, I can't. So believe I suppose they made the those up. Times. If you don't believe what's on Fox News, I certainly don't believe what's in the New York Times. With quotes from the ambassador, which Whoa. I suppose air, you're air saying quotes? they made those up. Air quotes. But we believe this wolf motherfucker that you mentioned. <laughs> yeah, this wolf motherfucker is the uh, acting secretary. Of, and who was he appointed? Yeah, and who was he appointed? Oh, that that he never confirmed. Who was he appointed by? Yeah. It's Trump's appointee. Mm -hmm. And yeah. if he's acting, wouldn't he like to be full time? Not Trump necessarily. Couldn't get approved. Nobody's full time with Trump. Nothing gets approved. Uh, you know. Uh, That's a Republican uh, Senate won't even qualify. Yeah, you know uh, what he does is when they're acting, they can only act for so long, and then he has to move somebody else into the job. Yeah. But. Or or try to get them appointed. You know. Yeah, so, but, but he liked having acting people in all these jobs because he can get rid of them. He kind of feels like he's doing The Apprentice. You know, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired. Yeah. So, I mean, how many people has he fired while he's on his watch? Jeez. That new record. Is it a new record? No. Oh, yeah, he's already, in three years, he set a record versus any other president. All the best people. All, yeah. all the best. <laughs> oh man! I mean, never gonna play golf. How many be, press secretaries did he have? Oh, about they, seven of them. They they go through. All presidents go through a lot of press secretaries. One or two, three. Do you think the current press secretary is a screamer? I hope so. Well, yeah. <laughs> you What's know, I mean, does she yell out obscenities while having sex? Oh. First, she, first, no, first she has to get to the right page in her binder, and then she's. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! She's the best <laughs> fuck me, fuck me <laughs> harder, <laughs> harder. She's the exactly. Best press secretary that he's had, but I, I just started watching the designated survivor, and uh, they got the press secretary uh, who's very good right now. I, I'm, uh, I'm still in the first season, I think. But uh, I like that show. What? What show? Designated Survivor. Oh, I never heard of it. It's, uh, oh, it's a great show. Right? Yeah, yeah, Keith Sutherland. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's really good. Yeah. 
Yeah. Was it on cable or what's it on? It was on ABC. <laughs> it was on ABC oh. for two seasons and then a third now season at Netflix uh, or something. Now. I think Hulu. Yes, Hulu it. did a, a another season. Hulu. Yeah. Hulu, yeah. I'm watching it on Netflix. It's pretty good. How are you yeah. watching on Netflix? It don't. It was on Hulu. Uh, yeah, but Netflix can get those shows. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I was able. Uh, I I get it on Netflix. Oh. So the uh, former Fourth Fox. Did you hear this? The former Fox News host Ed Ed Henry accused of rape in a lawsuit. So Fox News, only the best. <laughs> <laughs> Ed Henry. Um, hmm. Here's his picture. Yeah. No. no, I can't see wait, it. Wait, wait. This guy. Yeah, that's him. No, oh, really? Rape? Rape, yeah, rape. And, and, and uh, Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity are being accused of sexually uh, harassment. Yeah, well, you know, I don't. I, that, does that surprise you? Not really. Yeah, it doesn't surprise Tucker's you. going on another fishing trip. I wish him best. <laughs> wish him well. I wish him well. Yeah. God bless him. So, do you think Bobby's going to get uh, wrapped up in this uh, match ball thing? We see because now, he's he, dropping names, ladies and gentlemen, because he didn't say Bobby. the full name, so people might understand who he's talking about. Zell Mack, Bobby. Bobby Slate. He, ah. Does anybody know what we're talking about? Does he know her? No, nobody knows who. He gets about. free, uh, free apartment. Uh, when he's in New York, that's why he won't stay with Alex. Well, that's why he didn't stay with Alex. Yeah, he had a place. He had a friend. He kept telling me, "I have a friend who puts me up at his his apart an apartment he has," and and it turned out it was uh, what's his name? Yeah, Epstein. Epstein. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. Epstein, he yeah. called me. I he called me one day and he said, "Gee, I've lost my place in New York." Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah. And he met Epstein through. Uh, I think through Woody Allen. Uh, Epstein was a big fan of Bobby's. Yeah. 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 The, the Skechers guy, I understand. I, every morning I hear Bobby on a commercial for Skechers, and he's great. Yeah, uh, I know. He's been doing that for years. No, Skechers? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. This yeah. is the first, couple, the first month or so I've heard that well, commercial. It's probably and... the first time they've been running them where you listen. Uh, yeah. He's been... Fox. I've never seen them. Who? Uh, radio. Oh, on radio. Okay. Yeah. He's a comedian yeah. and a, and a very good one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, he was in um, uh, my. Uh, what was the married man thing on? Uh, was it HBO or Showtime that uh, he was always playing pool? Well, and, by the way, Peter Arno on our chat uh, writes, uh, "I wish had Ed Henry uh, well." So. <laughs> Them all well, you know, they should be tried by a uh, by a jury of their peers and not yeah, yeah. by oh, yeah. uh, oh, yeah. the media. Yeah, absolutely, rather and than have uh, like party. somebody like the president of the United States say that you're guilty as hell, which he's done on when, when he did that. There was somebody that murdered somebody, and uh, he he came in and and said uh, the president came in and said all sorts of negative things about him, and so, you said, the guy would never get a fair trial. And so, you know, this way, he just says, I wish him well. Have a nice day. You know, I can't comment on that. Why not? That's what you say. Yeah, that's the you don't have to wish him well. Yeah. All right. I I don't wish to comment on that. You know, Uh, I used to know him and I used to fuck young girls that he was pushing my way. (laughs) And I can't talk about it. So I pee on me. Yeah. Yeah. The pee on girls pee on me. Yeah. Russian. She slides. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! I just I I I you know, Phil. I just, you're, you're amazing. You're just amazing. The excuses Thanks. you make for bad behavior is just it's classic. It's yeah. just classic. You know, and I, I I you know I mean I look I'm I was the first guy in the world. I did it on this show when he got elected president. I said we got to give the guy a chance. Yeah. Didn't I say that? Yes, you did. You know, we don't know how it's going to turn out. You know, he may I surprise us. And I hope he does surprise us because we want him to go do well. So, I thought, uh, what? I thought you said never give a sucker an even break. No, I didn't say that. 
I, I literally said, you know, I'm not going to, uh, yeah. I'm not going to throw him. Uh, I'm not going to give up on him until, you know. And then it was about a week later that I gave up on him. But <laughs> you know, I was going to say it was a week later. Didn't, didn't oh, take me long to see that this guy was going to be a turkey. You know? Yeah, he, he raised his hand on the Bible, and that at that point you gave up on him. Phil, that's the first time he's seen a Bible in years. Yeah. Okay. He and I'm su- that, and I'm, su- I'm surprised church. I'm surprised he didn't burst into flames. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, he he held one at that church right after the riots. In uh, second time we've seen him with the Bible. Yeah, yeah right. Second time. They yeah. weren't Actually, riots, Phil. They were. Protests. It was upside down. And by the I way, by the that. way, I think it's time that Trump. Well, this will get Phil going, and then we haven't got time to do it. But <laughs> I wish he'd quit calling it the Chinese flu. You know, the Chinese yeah. had the thing corralled before it ever got here. Yeah, they sent it to Europe. But well, it, now, well, then, then why didn't we close Europe down too? We did about a week or two no, later. No, no, we didn't. Six weeks, eight weeks later, or something. Uh, and it was eight uh, weeks. It was eight weeks later, and by that time, three million people had come through JFK. Yeah. From yeah. Europe. Well, maybe he was trying to get at Cuomo. Could be, but Cuomo's gotten at him because Cuomo's done great. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there, That's there, awesome. there we go. Oh, and there's, oh, hey, look who else has the Bible in his picture. Hey, Kevin, you got to hold up one, too. <laughs> well, look, 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 look. <laughs> Look, you got you got Hitler with his Bible, and you got Trump yeah. with his Bible. Is that real, is that for real, Kevin? Hitler holding the Bible. Kyle. I believe uh, that's I for real. He photoshopped the Hitler one. Real. It, it's probably mine, Tom. <laughs> it's pretty close, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. even got the thumb in the right place. The yeah. little hands. They, they both have little hands. I think they probably. <laughs> I, th- I think it's right. a little thumb. I, that's I, right. right. They could have They're taken. They could, they could have actually taken the hand of uh, of of Trump I, and put it. I on think him. he held it on purpose, backwards for a reason. Yeah, they, he was, he was signaling. It was a dog whistle. Yeah. That's what I think. So yeah. I, th- yeah, right. I think they took the the hand and the book from from uh, Trump and just photoshopped yeah, it over. I think yeah, that's right. what I think too. Yeah. yeah, it looks like he's at Yankee Stadium in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Alex. Yeah. What's going on with Bobcat Goldthwait? You ever talked to Bobcat? Never. Never. Yeah. He was funny back in the 80s. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He made some good movies. Yeah. Police Academy. (laughs) Yeah, that clown one. Police Academy. Gave him his break. The one one with Robin Williams was good with about the uh, the world's greatest father or something. It was that was a good movie. Okay. Is this Robin Williams' birthday today? I don't know. Is it? Uh, yeah, not not uh, anymore. Well, yeah, yeah really. Yeah, it's John Means mentioned it, and uh, and a few other people. Uh, uh, Bobby Slayton actually uh, on really? Facebook really? mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey yeah. Pedro, you got a nice haircut. Who? Who? Uh, Pedro. Yeah. Pedro. Yeah. Oh, Pedro got a nice. Oh, you got a haircut, didn't you? Oh, I Pedro? did. Yeah. I had to go all the way to South San Francisco. Oh, yeah, that's right. San Mateo County, huh? What is yeah. that? What is that? A black market haircut? Is that what it is? <laughs> he, he uh, San Mateo him. County on the peninsula is the only place you can still get haircuts. Oh, yeah, they really? Yeah. Hmm. You have a prison uh, haircutter in South San Francisco? <laughs> Looks like a prison cut. Hey, it's yeah. a haircut. Hey, listen, uh, that's about the, all we got for this uh, little uh, thing here. Uh, am I. My desk isn't falling apart, so I guess the glue is holding. Uh, anyway, hey, thank you so much. First of all, Charlie Wallace, always good to have you here, Charlie. Howard's back. So Mahalo. Is, mahalo. Uh, and, and Robert, now that you've done it, do it all the time. We love having yeah, you. Yeah, you're here. great. Thank you. Just thank if you, you can, rock. get a light to put on yourself. Okay. Because it's kind of dark. But it's you're great, you're terrific, and we love having you here, Phil. Thank you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we love you, Ryan. Thank you, thank you to uh, of course. Uh, I'll call you by your proper name, Pedro Bourbon. And uh, um. yes, and uh, let's thank uh, Kevin and of course Tony. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay. 
and we'll call it quits, okay? And that's it. That's it for our citizen panel. Let me hang up on them here so we can get rid of them. Okay, there they go. Uh, next is uh, Jack Bishop. He's going to be here with the intersection, and you might want to stick around and be part of that citizen panel as well. In the meantime, I'll see you tomorrow night at uh, 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time, right after, well, the sports show ends a half hour earlier than that. So Anyway, we'll see you at 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? And stay safe and wear a mask, okay?